Hi there guys, I've got a little challenge for you today, which is if you can play vibrato. Vibrato is an expression that we put on the end of a note. The singers do it with their voice, but as guitarists, we do it with our fingertip and the wrist rotating. So the idea of vibrato is to take a pitch and have it raise and lower it at the same time, which gives you a, it should be gentle, but there's different types of vibrato, give you a slight gentle wavering of the pitch. So let's see how it sounds on the guitar and how you can do it and see if you guys can do it. So we take any note on the fretboard. We're going to start with our first finger and I will place it on fret three of the G string. And I can play this note on its own. This is how the note sounds with no vibrato. So vibrato is gently shaking the string upwards and also down. So if I push it up, you'll hear it go sharp and it'll sound a little bit out of tune. Not pleasant. If I bend it down, you'll hear it go f sharp again. It doesn't sound pleasant. So the idea is to bring it up and bring it back down to the point of where it's relaxed again. Now to have a good, clean and pleasant sounding vibrato, it's ideal to do this slowly and in an even motion. So you don't want to jump up suddenly and then come down slowly. It sounds very erratic. We want it to be a nice, even motion. Imagine it's a, like a wave. Start out slow and then gradually develop the speed, gradually. You should let the note ring out first before you add the vibrato. Imagine if a singer was to put heavy vibrato on everything they sung. It would sound really um, quite distracting. The same with guitar. The thing you don't want to do is have a really stinging sudden vibrato. It sounds very sharp and makes you jump. Imagine if a singer did that. Now, when we add it into phrases, it sounds pleasant and it gives it a really musical sound that allows the note or the phrase to kind of carry off like this. So why is vibrato important? Well vibrato gives you your own identity. Your vibrato will never sound identical to someone else's and their vibrato will never sound identical to you. So the amazing thing about it is it allows you to put your own signature on songs when you're learning other people's songs or learning phrases on the guitar. So practice your own vibrato and it will develop over time. But that's your challenge. Have fun with it and I look forward to hearing your vibrato. Thank you.